Yeah. Getting sadder, angrier, to more terrible emotions inside. Who's feeling that? <coughs> yeah, pretty much everyone. It's a, un, it is a good state. Well, see, what, what's been happening is you've suppressed all of those emotions for so long. How are they going to come out? They're only going to come out by you experiencing them, right? So what often happens when we first start this emotional processing work is we go through this period where we're, we're just feeling overwhelmed with one negative emotion after the other, after the other, after the other. The key is to allow it as much as you possibly can allow it. Because it will pass if you keep allowing it and keep digging deeper into the emotion. Are you alright? Yeah. Yes, are you alright? They want you out of it. Yes, and, and I said, I'm fine, I'm fine, and then I'll just keep going. But I, I started to wonder, because I didn't have any joy, it was like I was getting more miserable and more angry and more... Yeah. And I could, I could intellectually see the pain that I was in, but I could have occasionally touched it, but I couldn't really touch it, and it gets me more miserable and more frustrated. And the emotion that you need to allow yourself to feel is this deep rage of frustration. Right? That's the emotion that you're skipping over. Right? So, so you're trying to access an underlying emotion when the top level emotion is there ready to go and you don't want that particular one to be experienced. Does that make sense? So let yourself experience that one and within a few minutes you'll probably get to the underlying one. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That, yeah. Sorry. Um, for me, a lot of the physical stuff like boxing, bag, punches, and whacking things it doesn't work for me. I try and keep on hurting myself, so it's non effective. But what I've noticed lately is it needs to be voiced, like really come out. It needs to be screamed, yelled, whatever comes out, and just go nuts with that. When it, just when it comes up, it needs to happen. Because a lot of the, it's not so much just like the, the first century stuff, everything was suppressed. You weren't allowed to say anything, you had to shut up, and you just had to cop it the way it was, sort of thing. And, you know, it's all suppressed, the voice is suppressed, everything you want to say or feel was suppressed. So I feel for me now, that's avenue you starting to work from, which is to let, to let it out in your voice. It just it's almost sets off a switch, like straight off, okay, sets off a switch, thanks. It sets off, just goes off. Um, just get to into some, just a really deep spot that you can't seem to access any other way. That's for me, because everybody's different, so you'll find different ways of work for you and other ways of doing it. Let's practice. Yes. Yes. Like really feeling some rage type feeling and expressing it with your voice. <laughs> Lots of you are laughing. You're not in it yet. Let's do it again. Let's get into it this time. No laughing. You connect with some anger now and just let it out. Like really voice it. Scream or yell. Scream or yell. Do it again. Ready? <laughs> 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 